Hello YouTube, today we are talking about a pH sensor circuit made by DF Robot. Um, uh, just for information, they made a first version of that circuit a few years ago, uh, and today they've released uh, the version 2. And the version 2 is interesting for multiple points. Uh, the first thing is that it's um, more accurate in the readings. It's also easier to calibrate uh, with the sketch provided. And uh, now it's compatible with 5 volt microcontrollers and also 3.3 volts microcontrollers, which is very interesting because more and more of those microcontrollers are becoming 3.3 volt based. And as we can see here, they show how to set it up with a standard setup, which is an Arduino working on 5 volts. You got the DF robot circuits and um, the pH sensor. Uh, put into a calibration solution. Now, the thing is, they provide a code for that, and the code does not work for platforms such as ESP32. And as it happens, uh, we work a lot on ESP32, so we've um, modified the library, the library uh, a little bit so it can work with uh, this ESP32, and so that you don't have any issue regarding all the EPROM uh, part. So, how do you make it work? Um, let's assume you already have Arduino IDE, you already have set it up to use it with ESP32. If you don't, you can go on Google and uh, find how to do it. Now, uh, you make this circuit work with an ESP32. So you go on GitHub, that's the first step, you look for Green Panic, which is us. And here you will find two uh, libraries. Uh, one is for the pH and the other one is for the EC. Uh, we'll talk about the EC in another video. Today we'll click on the pH version. You will have to download it. So you click download, download zip. So it downloads a zip file where you will have your library and then and, uh, the example inside it. So now you will have to, to install that library. So what you do, uh, you go into your library folder. So your library folder will be uh, in your Arduino folder where you have all your sketches and you have a subfolder there called libraries. So you go there and you just extract all the files. So I've done that already, so let's just replace it. It's not a problem. Okay, done. It's here. So now you have to open uh, Arduino IDE. So I've got a session which is already open here, a blank one. You go on in files, examples, and you will try to find DF Robot PH Green Panic. Here is an example, you click on the example, and here is your sketch. It's very short uh, and it will work. And now I have to show you how to set up everything uh, regarding the wiring, etc. So you've got your typical kit, you receive this box, and this box contains the pH sensor, which is within a solution right here. It's very important that that probe is always with this solution and that has to be dry like never. You never want it to be dry because it will kill the probe and it will be useless. You have your pH circuits version 2. You've got your two standard uh, calibration solution. One is pH 4, one is pH 7. And what I've added here is a cleaning solution for the pH probe. You want to clean it properly uh, when you change your solution so that your um, measurements are accurate. Uh, quick tip for people using this kind of probe with this kind of solution. Um, a good idea is to use tape like this. It's double side tape so that your bottle don't move so when you put the sensor in you don't have a mess around that will ruin your desk entirely and make you yell for hours. So, um, now it's time to plug this in. So you plug your sensor to your circuit 
and you will need also a very nice ESP32 this one is an old one so I hope it still works but I think so and you will need a power supply in form of your USB micro USB cable and to plug the ESP to the pH circuit you need some DuPont cable such as those one uh, you know the one you learn to love and hate at the same time so on the ESP side you plug it uh, I hope that you will, you will see enough but on this shot your ground on the top on the other side and by default the code uh, tells you to plug your data on 35 which is this one right there so you do the same thing on the circuit connector side of things so I got minus plus data minus plus data like this oh. BAM! three in a row and now you can plug your ESP to your PC okay got a light here got a light here seems all good right so on the PC you will have to upload your sketch so to upload your sketch you go back to the Arduino IDE and on the Arduino IDE you will have to go in tools you have to select the board so you have to select the proper board that you use, you're using for us it's ESP32 dev module and you have to choose the right COM port that's 12 here so let's go, let's upload the thing so here it is, done uploading, now you can open the serial monitor so it's important that it's set on uh, 115 200 bow so that it works with right here, so that it works with our sketch now, you take the cap off. Okay, you clean your probe like that. Very gently, this thing is very fragile. You don't want to break it, you don't want to touch it directly. So, what I do is I take a little tissue like that, and I clean it gently. And I try to put some tissue in there to get the extra amount of solution but never false never put false on the thing so that should be okay I put it in my pH 4 solution so it's brand new this one is new still have the cap on it important fact also when you use a solution like that it's you use it only once because after that it will be spoiled so here is pH 4 so now we have to check the reading on the other side so here we are in our sketch and it doesn't read 4 for the moment So let's wait a bit so it stabilizes. So it reads nearly 5. Now, what you have to do is to put a command right here. So you type, you have to type enter, enter pH. It goes into calibration. It asks you to uh, put your pH prop into a solution between either 4 or 7. Here it's 4. Type cal pH when the reading is stable enough it says okay your buffer solution is 4 yeah it's right and now it's calibrated to 4 you can see your reading are pointing to 4 so you type exit pH calibration successful exit <coughs> pH calibration mode so now your pH is calibration, calibrated for one solution. Now you have to go to the next solution. So same thing. Take it out. Clean it. Just 
gently dry the thing and do not make any mistake oh you will be sorry dear robot will be very happy but you will be sorry okay now I open the second bottle this one is new also so I have to take the cap off quick reminder for the next video do that before you record the video okay probe is in the steering Na, 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 na. Now uh, it says 8.35, 8.30, It seems to be stable enough. So now we do the same thing. Enter pH. You wait for it to be stable, and you type cal pH. So now it's calibrated to uh, pH 7 solution. So you've calibrated it for two solution, which means that uh, within those kind of ranges, uh, your reading will be very accurate. Now it's time to type exit pH. And that's it. Now you pH read pH 7. If I clean it again, I'm going quickly because I got the habit of this. But be careful. Okay. And I go back to pH 4. You see on the sketch, it reads pH 4. So now everything is calibrated. And everything will be registered in the ESP32 APRAM. And the next time you will use it, it will use the same calibration information. So bear in mind that you have to calibrate those sensors uh, every week or so, depending on your use. It's always better to calibrate it uh, more often than never. Uh, so that's it. If you got any question, you can contact us, and we will reply you ASAP. See you. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you got any questions, you can write them in the comment section. You can also visit our website and social networks to get the latest news. See you next time. Bye.